Hi, this video is on how to connect and set up wired LGMV model to computer with Windows type operation system. The device coming with the model itself, uh, USB cable and uh, the cable actual to connect to a conditioner. It also includes extension cord and uh, short key sometimes. The short key we only need for software update. We have the model and next step we need to install drivers. The drivers I'll leave in the link below this video. It is the latest one available at the moment of recording this video. You can also check with your local LG reps and uh, they will provide you the latest one available in your region. It has three folders inside. A universal Windows driver, you might need it if uh, you installing uh, this on Windows 11, but uh, some Windows 11 uh, works without it, so I'll just leave it here just in case. The second folder is model cable driver. This is a driver for computer to recognize the LGMV kit itself. And LGMV app itself. Uh, here is the latest version available for now, 1.2.4, but LG updates it every once or two, twice in a month. Contact your local reps, they will provide you with the latest one. This version works with wired LGMV kit and uh, also with wireless LGMV kit. In this video we cover just wired LGMV kit. Wireless is much easier to connect and it's not the topic of this video. First step, installing module cable driver. I hope no questions how to do that. And finish. If your installation doesn't go well for some reason, uh, drops or doesn't finish, uh, go to firewall settings and uh, disable it temporary. Just search firewall in uh, search window below and you will come to this window and just disable everything temporary. However, before you do that, try to restart your computer first and uh, set it to airplane mode temporarily during your files installation. Next step, install LGMV app itself. Finished and we are good to go to the next step. Here you take an LGMV model kit and USB cable and uh, connect LGMV model kit to your laptop with USB cable. Once you connect it, your computer will recognize new device. Then go to your search window and find device manager. Open it up. In Device Manager, in the section Common Port, you will see Silicon Labs CP220 device. Select and right click on it and go to Properties and Port Settings tab. You go to Advanced and you can see that it is connected to COM port 1. Uh, you can change port if you need to. Remember your port number, you'll need it later and uh, OK, OK and exit. Next step, you're taking this <coughs> cable. So it has two ends, one end with split it wires and another one with single one. So the single plug you plug into your LGMV model
and another one goes to the outdo unit. It has two plugs, the square one and the straight one. They both identical. There are six dip switches on LGMV module itself. Depend on the product you connect it to, you need to set it in a certain way. The description is on the back of the unit. Connecting to the outdo unit. Search for LGMV driver. Most probably it will be installed on your desktop. Scroll down and accept agreement. Go to monitoring data. Check that you connected to serial port. Press the next arrow. And then it asks you to select the COM port. In my case, it's automatically choose COM port 1. In your case, make sure that COM port is the same port what we found in device manager. Next, deep switch settings. In our case, all off because I'm connecting to multi 5 product. And connected place, we are connecting to out the unit. Next, we see the green indicator against the COM port 1. It means that communication is established. Okay, next. Uh, make sure that all product type selections are match with the product you connect into. Next. And it will not let you because you need to fill site information. Distributor, let's put... Uh, you need to put your better you need to put here the real names so then when you save files um, and especially when you record in a lot of files after a while so without names you will mess up you will not remember which file related to which job site so I strongly recommend you to put the names for now we just put this there so then you put your installer, installer name, so model name of the unit, in our case it's ARUM0963 BTE5 and put some details of site information. Let's say uh, if you have several systems on the same job site, yeah, you can put like, um, let's say job site is uh, uh, office right on the hill and let's say it's our system on the drawings is cu1 yeah a1 okay now we press arrow again and uh, when you see uh, let me spread it a little bit okay. So it automatically asks me um, if I want to save data because it starts recording. We recommend to save data all the time. So let's say I put desktop, we'll create folder. Let's say office on the hills. On the hills. Right. And we name the file, let's say uh, record in one we press save and it's saving all serial numbers connected to this unit okay let me spread this window a little bit okay we have four four into units connected and uh, it's uh, in green indicator means that it's saving and our connection status is okay Another way to see, if you see all the pressures, all the temperature values. This unit has only one compressor, so for the second compressor the discharge temperature value is 300, because there is no uh, discharge temperature sensor at all in this unit. And if you don't have communication between your computer and uh, outdo unit, all values on your LGMV will show 300s. As you can see, in our case, communication is good. 
and it's good to go. To exit, you just press stop saving and then you can close the program. Or if you just close the program, it will save automatically.